Radio Raheem here at Madison Square Garden. Canelo Alvarez successful tonight. Third round stoppage. Three knockdowns, a knockdown in every round. Actually, more than three knockdowns, but a knockdown in every round. Rocky Philly really didn't have anything for Canelo tonight. Let's hear what the champ has to say and Rocky Fielding as well. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you for your support. I'm happy for this to end the year well. I'm happy for everyone's support. I'm thankful to my team, Golden Boy Promotions, to DAZN, the MSG2. They've treated me really well. Yeah, they also gave me a gift. It was an important plank and just happy to be marking history. Saul, congratulations on your victory tonight. Andrew Rosario on the scene sports. Coming into this fight, given the fact that he had a height and a reach advantage, how important was it for you to establish your fight game on the inside and take advantage of the body shots that you did to hurt him? No, eso era lo que planeamos, no, golpear al cuerpo. Creo que él cometió el error de de ponerse tu por tu conmigo y ahí, pues yo trabajé, trabajé para 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 golpearlo al cuerpo y gracias a Dios. That was the plan we had to hurt the body, and he committed the error by beginning to exchange with me. But that's what we worked on, to hit a hard to the body, and thank God everything went well. Saul, describeme por favor si eres tan amable lo que significa no solamente la meta del título. Creo que la meta del Madison Square Garden lo decía Oscar, saca lo mejor de ti o te puede devorar. ¿Cuál fue tu experiencia? The, the, the question was, please describe not just you know winning the title, what it means to you, but also uh, fighting here at Madison Square Garden. No, es una experiencia muy bonita. La verdad que el cariño de la gente a cualquier lugar que me presento siempre me trata muy bien. Estoy muy contento de de haber estado aquí. Espero no sea la la última. Espero sea la primera de muchas. Me siento muy contento, agradecido con la gente que vino a apoyarme y, y pues el sentimiento realmente describirlo es, es muy difícil pero es un honor haber estado aquí y haber compartido con la gente de, de, de Nueva York it's a, it's a nice experience um, you know the people here have always treated me well they treated me very kindly so I'm happy to be here and I hope it's not the last time I'm here I hope it's the first of many so I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I'm thankful to all the people who came to see me uh, a feeling to describe this it's hard to describe this but it's an honor to be here and to share it with all the people here in New York Canelo based on the success tonight are you actually feeling like really comfortable about the idea of staying up at 168 were you surprised that how well, your power allowed you to move up. Bueno, no sabemos. Ahorita vamos a disfrutar de los triunfos. Después nos vamos a sentar a ver qué es lo que viene y ver qué es lo que vamos a hacer. We don't know. Right now, we're going to enjoy our, our victory, and then we'll sit down, and then we'll see what's going to happen after. Marillo. Sí, Canelo. Eh, antes de la de la pelea, vimos un tweet del de presidente López Obrador donde se decía suerte. Y... Oscar de la Hoya eh, dijo hace unos minutos que eh, ratificó que eh, está muy contento con el éxito de Razón y que eso le permite salir de Estados Unidos y que va a hablar otra vez con el señor Escarga, que fue el que hizo la de Chávez contra Hogan, que metió 132 mil ahí en el estudio Azteca. Y bueno, que todas las condiciones este, están dadas. También dijo que trata con el, con el presidente, con el presidente mexicano. ¿Tú crees que esté todo ya más sólido después de, de esta gran victoria? Para la situación allá. Um, the question was, you know, uh, seeing as you won tonight, uh, you, you saw a tweet, we saw a tweet by the president in Mexico uh, wishing you welcome this victory. We also saw Oscar talking about potentially um, having a fight, uh, next Canelo's fight in Mexico. Do you see with this victory, it more possible to have a fight at Estadio Mezteca? Bueno, yo no he platicado de esto con ellos, creo que... Eh, pero lo que sea, cualquier parte de México pelear para mí es un honor y siempre es un orgullo. No, hay que sentarnos a platicar, pero para mí pelear en México es un orgullo y es un honor. I haven't talked with him about this, you know, whatever, wherever it is and whenever it is in Mexico, it's always an honor and it fills me with pride. Uh, we have to sit and talk about it, but it would always fill me with honor and pride uh, to be able to fight in Mexico. Canelo, straight back here. 
congratulations on the knockout tonight. Uh, Rocky Fielding came in here and said that you were the best fighter he ever fought, that you were the fastest fighter that he ever fought, and that he stood with you and didn't move. But when you were throwing those body punches, did you? What did, what did he feel like to you? Did he feel like you were hurting him with every single shot? He landed 35 body punches. No, bueno, eh, es lo que planeamos, ¿no? Hacer, sabíamos que tenía esa, esa debilidad de poderlo golpear al, al cuerpo y pues sí, eh, cada golpe que le daba a, a, al cuerpo sentía que lo lastimaba y ahí era mi pelea. That's what we planned. Uh, we knew that he had that weakness to be susceptible to the body shots and uh, each one that landed I felt like that hurt it and that's what we did. And one other question, Canelo. Sí. You fought, you fought this fight at 160 the possibility of you going back to 160. How hard do you think it will be for you to go back seven, eight pounds lower than what you weighed in at? No, no, no. La verdad que me siento muy bien también en las 160 libras y creo que es normal, ¿no? Eh, siempre el sacrificio para marcar el peso, pues es normal, pero me siento muy bien también en las 160. No, uh, I feel good at 160 pounds and it's normal. Uh, you know, it's always a sacrifice and it's normal to sacrifice to make weight, but I still feel good being able to make 160 pounds. Okay. okay. I think it's important that the media knows that also recently Saul at his best moment uh, do a, a great uh, hard thing. Uh, support a little boy, number 100,000 little boy from a foundation, big foundation in Mexico, 22 years old, the foundation. And, and because of that, uh, I, I, I think it's important that you know, Oscar and, and Saul, that Emilio Azcárraga Jr. told me last week, please tell them but it will be a dream for me, a dream made possible. If, if, if soon, whenever he did, he come to Estadio Azteca and break that record. So he's ready, he's gonna do everything that you need to try to do soon this event when we do things right. Thank you for that. Thank you for all your support, and we'll see you next year. He's got, he's got to finish his best. Outside of the best, you know, a couple of the fighters alike. So, um, as I never shied away from from the challenge. The phone call I got was, "Can I want to fight you?" So I said, "Jeff, fans the square garden." It's been a great week. I uh, met some great people. I dare to be great, I live the dream, but you know, I'll come again, I'll come back. Hats um, off to Canelo, respect him, uh, great fighter, and you know, I'll come back. How are you? I'm good. Andrew Rosario, on the Steve Sports. How surprised were you at his power? Can we keep it quiet, please, over there? Can we keep Thank you. Sorry, Rocky. Andrew Rosario on the scene sports. We talked at the press conference yeah, on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. How surprised were you at his power, especially to the body? Yeah. He's, um, he's strong, you know, right? I was catching with some, some shots, but he just, you know, we kept pulling forward and that. And it was more, it's the body shots are more like the wind's getting sucked away, like the rib, not only it's still a bit of a wind getting sucked, so. Um, he plays the shots well, and you know he called me, and uh, I, f I stood there too long. I, I thought I'd try and mix it with him when I, I shouldn't have. And as I said, that you see the height of me compared to, I should have kept it long. But you uh, know, I just stood there with someone who's elite and who's strong, and, and he called me, and you know I give it everything, and the better man won. Rocky, after the fight with Canelo, how do you describe Raul Alvarez as a fighter? How do you describe now that you fight with him? You see his record and, you know, he was world champion, so he's, you know, he's, a, he's the elite fighter, he's the number one in it, so um, he does everything well. 
time is good, his shot select selections are good. Um, and his presence just all being there and making me wait when I when I didn't have to, but I knew I shouldn't I couldn't shouldn't switch off and I had to be on my game and I never kept it long and I just stood there and so he's a, he's a wee fighter, he's a great fighter and uh, you know, it's, this is nice, he got me. Rocky, um, okay. So how did you compare Canelo's power to Cullen Smith? And how would you see that fight playing out? They were together to the ring with Devin. The power, it was more than the, the shots you'd always seen, and the, the, the time of the shot, but, um, Similar, you know, both both got similar power, you know, Canal strong. Um, say shot selection to go and so is so Callum at the time it's good. So it's only a good fight. Rocky, over here. Um, this is Brian Moreno. Um, if you also compare Canelo's power to other 168 fighters that you had faced. Um, how would you compare his power to other fighters, and do you think he has the ability to hang in with all the fighters at 168? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You know, elite power, that's the like, that next level power. I mean, he's got it. He's got it all. He's got the, the time and the speed. He puts his shot together well and said so. I think he can mix it with any super middleweight. And Rocky, we, we often talk about Canelo's aggressiveness, body punching, but how good is his speed? Is he the fastest guy you fought as well? Yeah, definitely. He's just the best of four, you know what I mean? Like, he's speed, power, you know, footwork, defense, everything. He's got everything, because, yeah, he's the best to be in with, and, you know, I'm good at four. I got in there with someone who's elite, you know, from my background, where I've come from. To get in, to make it here and get in with Canelo, you know, is a big achievement for myself. Rocky, over here. There's some fights sometimes that just ruin fighters, either because they got beat up too much or it was just a bad outing. Going forward, I know that you plan to continue, you plan to win, but how do you get over it? What's the, what do you think is going to be the biggest thing to overcome from this fight? Eddie, what's next? <laughs> what's next? Christmas. Christmas. That's good, no. Christmas. Yeah, you know, so I got two defeats, you know, two stops to two world champions. One's a world champion now, Callum, and, you know, can I know three weeks. But I, I come back and I come back from the Callum defeat when no one gave me a chance. I come back, given everything, can I become a world champion. So, you know, I've just been in with the best pound pound fighter and, you know, I'll come back and what the fighters do, it's the day of the comeback, what, what counts, and you know, I'll, I'll spend time with my family at Christmas and then I get back in the gym in the new year and lay and keep going. Rocky, since you already fought Canelo, and you know, would you consider him to be the best fighter of today? Or would you consider Canelo to be the best fighter of today? Uh, yeah, he's yeah. a top three up there. Yeah, you know, I mean, for me, I, I like Terence Crawford and, you know, Lower Jack Conrad, but he, you know, he's up there. He's, you know, says record, he speaks for himself and three weight world champion, so, yeah, he's probably the best. One of the best. Okay. Hey, Rocky? Okay. <laughs> Right, mate. Um, how, how did you feel when the stoppage came? Did you feel bad or hard? What were your thoughts at all? No, I didn't feel, I didn't feel bad here. No, I mean, a couple of body shots took the wind a bit, but I knew where I was, I knew everything, I, I was okay, do you know what I mean? It just, I don't know, caught with the body shots, that took the wind a bit, and, and um, no, he was, he was, he was coming forward. He was, you know, he was there for the twelve rounds on, on me. So, but I tried to fight back, and you know, of course, so, but I was okay, though. You surprised how quickly you managed to get on the inside and get close. 
Yeah, um, for me, I should have kept it long, you know, the stars and that, but, you know, gave me, you know, they're into me and, you know, I didn't listen in times and I tried to stay there and mix it, tried to think how I'd use my weight and my height and that and my steps, but, you know, it, it come on stuff and it didn't call me. Um, finally, we've got time. Can we get Jamie's view on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie, thank you, everyone. Well, thank appreciate you. that.